Britney Spears. What is all this? What's all this? Hila, what's all that? What is that? Did you do that? <laughs> Look at this. Is, this is Britney Spears' lick of, please don't be angry. Did you do that? Bad boy. Hila, come now. Sit. Did you do that? Did you do that? Did you do that? That's a bad girl. Please don't do that. That's bad girl. Yeah, you see it. You sorry? <laughs> all right. Well, I guess it's time to clean all this up. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you are doing well today. This is the status of my kitchen currently. My garbage can usually sits right up against this wall, has been thrown around like a robber came in my home, and there's garbage all over the floor. Now, we have a few suspects as to who did this. Suspect A, Hila right here, she's like, wasn't me. Suspect B, Britney Spears, and he's looking pretty guilty, but pretty innocent at the same time. And then Suspect C, the most likeliest of suspects, it would be you to go through all the garbage and then make it look like a doggo did it. Is this your mastermind plan, Rue? Ah, oh, good lord, I have to clean all of this up. I gotta mop everything. Yay. In case you guys were wondering if the pups ever do anything bad, if the huskies ever step out of line, here is your proof. The answer is yes. Look at them looking at their fine artwork. Today, we're gonna be talking about how you should punish your doggo. If your dog does something bad, maybe they're pooping on the floor, maybe they know the rules and they're purposely breaking them. In today's episode, we're kinda gonna go over what you should be doing, the proper practices to punishing your dog, making sure that they know right from wrong, cause there's a whole bunch of right ways to do it, but there's also a whole bunch of wrong ways to do it. So today we're gonna explore all of the things that you need to know when it comes to reprimanding your Siberian Husky or your doggo. <laughs> Right. Let's go ahead and get all this cleaned up, get into the episode. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how to teach your pup when something is right and something is wrong. He was like, yeah, we did this <laughs> and we're basking in our glory. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. All right, let's go ahead and get some of this mess cleaned up. Go ahead and try and get all this stuff back in the trash bin and get everything as clean as possible. Alright, we got it all cleaned up, miss. Look, it looks all sparkly and back to normal. Good lord, you guys can be some crazy trouble sometimes, you know that? Now my assumption is that Gila got into the garbage can. I'm pretty sure it was her, not Britney Spears. The reason I know is because she has all sorts of junk on her face and he does not. So it's likely that Gila got into the garbage can and wouldn't let Britney have any of the stuff inside. So I think that's what's going on here. Either way, they're both in trubs. Both of you gotta learn the lesson. So here's what we're gonna do today to figure out how you're gonna pay the consequence. So both the Huskies did something bad today, right? And they gotta get punished. They gotta have a consequence. So what's it gonna be? Well, they already served their consequence. When I told them it was bad and I showed them what they had done, that's the only punishment that they're going to serve today. Now, doggos are smart. When you're mad at them for something and you show it to them, they're gonna know exactly what it is that you're mad about. When I showed them the garbage and I said, bad, and I pointed to it and they looked at it, they knew exactly what I was upset about. But here's the deal. It's really important to not 
punish your dog when you don't catch them in the act of doing something. So if you're not catching them pooping on the floor, if you're coming home after the fact, punishment is not going to be very effective. The only thing you're gonna be able to do is exactly what I showed you. Just get down, show them what it is that you're upset about, point to it, and just say in a very low voice, no and they will understand that that is not a favorable outcome. When you use high tones around dogs like, hey, what's going on? Those types of tones make doggos feel comfortable and happy. If you've ever had a dog that's afraid of men and not afraid of women, it's probably because men have low voices and your dog is not responding very well to that low tone. Women, on the other hand, typically have high voices. And if your dog just typically does well around women, it probably means that they are more accustomed and feel more much more comfortable around a high-pitched voice. So just remember, when you're telling your dog that something is bad or you're telling your dog no, make sure to do it in a low voice. The one thing we wanna stress here on the channel is that you should never be raising a hand or popping your dog in the sense that you should never take your hand and smack their butt or smack their head. Nothing like that is good or effective when it comes to dog training. That's all negative reinforcement and it really doesn't do much for a dog. Try it out if you want. The more you pop your dog on the butt, the more you smack smack them around, the less likely they are to listen to you. The more likely they'll be to just do things behind your back. What you want to do is create an effective communication between you and your pepperoni pizza. And to do that, you have to make sure you're acting within the moment. So unless you're catching your dog do something in that exact moment, punishment is not a viable option. All you can do is reinforce like I've stated previously. Now let's talk about you catching your dog in the act. Maybe you're catching them do something like this that you don't want them to do. This is the perfect time for training. It's gonna teach your dog that that exact thing is what is making you very upset. See, when dogs are doing something, when they're in the middle of an action like this, and you approach them with an unfavorable attitude or a low voice, or maybe you're just upset, this is gonna let a dog know that maybe what they're doing at that exact second is the underlying issue. When you catch a dog after the fact, when you're getting mad at them for maybe pooping on the floor, something they've done hours before, they're not gonna really be able to attribute why you're upset with the fact that they pooped on the floor. So when you catch your dog in the act of doing something, you're gonna start out by saying, Hila, no. Good girl, good girl. That was good girl, you stopped what I asked you to do. Something that really helps address the situation is saying your dog's name before you say no or bad. So if I were to just say, no. Hila's not really gonna know that I'm talking to her. She's smart enough right now to recognize that I am directing her, but sometimes when you're talking to your dog and you just say no, it's not enough. Saying their name beforehand will let them know that you are giving them a command. Usually dogs that are about a year old are super duper familiar with their name. So you see, me just talking about this and saying no to Hila once has got her to stop taking the stuffing out of this monkey altogether. She's doing a really good girl even though she is absolutely not happy about it. Now let's say your dog continues to do something, all right? They're not listening to you at all, you're saying no, you're looking straight at them and you're saying their name and they just continue to do it otherwise. That's when you go up to your dog, okay, and you remove the object from the situation. If they are using the restroom inside, if you catch them peeing or you catch them pooping, you're also going to say no, but you're gonna pick your dog up and you're gonna go outside and put them on the floor. Yes. A, there's a chance you'll get poo-poo on your hands. And yes, B, there's a chance you'll get pee-pee on your hands. But you're going to be teaching them that that exact thing they're doing right there, that pee and that poop that they're doing in the house, when you lift them up and say no, and you remove them from that situation, even if they stop doing whatever it is that they're doing, when you move them outside and then praise out there, that is the type of positive reinforcement you want to be applying to your dog. See, doing things like hitting or screaming, those types of actions are negative reinforcements. Yes, we want to use a lower or a higher tone when we talk with our dogs, but it doesn't require us to scream at the very top of our lungs like I've heard some people do before in the dog park. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, Rue sleeps tonight, ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so when it comes to punishing or reprimanding your Siberian Husky or your Dogaroni pizza, it doesn't require much at all. Just a lot of supervision on your part. See, the most effective learning processes come when your dog is actually making a mistake. Because when you catch them making that mistake, that's the time to effectively correct it, not after the fact. So just remember, if you're gonna punish your Siberian Husky or your doggo, if you feel like you need to teach them a lesson or there needs to be a consequence, don't raise a hand. Don't ever hit your doggo. You don't have to scream at them. Just make sure that you show them what it is that they did wrong point to it and say, don't do that again. No, make sure you use the low tones and the high tones to differentiate between when you're happy and when you're sad. And this is gonna take you so far when it comes to teaching your Siberian Husky what is right and what is wrong. We hope we helped you so much today in this episode. It's really important to know how to teach your dog consequences, especially when you're doing training with a young pup. And not everybody knows the most effective ways to teaching your dog when something is bad or wrong. It's okay. We understand sometimes you get frustrated and you want your doggo to do the right thing. But just remember, patience is key. Doggos are smart and they're going to know exactly what it is that you're trying to portray to them. So we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We had such a blast. I know the puppies did getting into all that fresh delicioso garbaggio. If you had fun, don't forget to share our video like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time with another episode of Guess What? You guessed it, whatever we make. Peace!